Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your me, man, Wing Draws back in with another super official <clears throat> unboxing. Can you do it, baby? No, you can't. Hey, listen, man. All right, so today we're going to be unboxing this pretty rare, actually, should be Indivisible Collector's Edition. Now, why do I say it's pretty rare? Because I have the Switch version. I'm not sure how many of these exist. I might be misinformed, but I'm pretty sure. This is pretty rare. That's because I got this exclusive from Indivisible pre-orders. Because the Switch version of this game did not come out originally. Um, it only came out on, I don't remember exactly what, but I think PS4 and PC or something. And then the Switch version came out later. So the Switch version, the collector's edition, is quite rare. Anyways, uh, this game, how I learned about it was I learned about it at Anime Expo. I do not remember which exact year it was. I want to say 2016 or something, quite a while ago. So I was there with my friends, and then we randomly went to a panel. I have a couple of friends who are big into, into FGC, so they were big Skullgirls fans. So we went to, I think, a Skullgirls panel. Um, Lab Zero, I believe, is the company uh, that made this game. Yep, Lab Zero Games. And um, they were talking about their maybe future projects and then they announced this game. So I was like, you know what, what the hell, this game sounds pretty interesting. We, we saw the, um, the exclusive trailer and everything and I'm like, okay, I'll support this game. So that's why I have this game right here. I pre-ordered the um, collector's edition and everything on the Switch. Now, this is, the review comes super late because um, this game's already been out for, I want to say like a year now. Uh, exact dates will be edited in, but yeah, um, I haven't played this game because I have a big backlog of games. I was busy playing Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, um, what else, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, other Switch games. I have too many Switch games to play, especially Genshin Impact. The release of Genshin Impact has sunk into my time quite a bit, and I haven't been able to play single player games too often. But I just beat Xenoblade Chronicles, so it's time to finally unbox Indivisible Collector's Edition. So I kind of showed you how it looked like already. This is the cover. It looks pretty nice. As you can see, the art style is similar to Skullgirls. It looks like the main character right here. And within her hair, there's another character, if you guys can see that. The glare is not doing me any favors. Um, on this side, it says Indivisible Collector's Edition on the back. Overcome Together. It is kind of dusty. I do apologize, guys. I we did wipe it down a bit, but it's still kind of dusty because I left it in my room for over a year. Indivisible Collector's Edition. And there we go. Let's get this open. So there's like a sleeve, as you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see. There's like a plastic sleeve over our top. I'm going to remove this tape here. And it should slide right out. I do apologize for opening in front of you like this. The tape on the bottom is kind of holding it in there. Might have to do some jump cuts if I can't get this tape off successfully. Tape is really hard to get off. Okay, now both tapes have been removed, so now this tin should slide right out. It feels like a tin. Now I do apologize for opening in front of you like this, but I call this Wing Draws Privilege. Okay, so that, I'm just gonna put this here. That's the, um, the plastic uh, exterior, the sleeve. And now here's the box. So this is the back side. There's a symbol here. Here's the front side. That's the character we were talking about earlier. And let's get this open. Oh wow. So as you can see, it's kind of like a tin. Kind of reminds me, just seeing the shiny interior, it kind of reminds me of like TCG tins, like Yu-Gi-Oh tins from back in the day when we used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But yeah, here we go. Um, there's a book here, it looks like the first thing out of the tin is a book. So there's the book. Um, it is pretty sturdy actually, the The binding is pretty nice. And uh, Okay, so on the side here, on the spine, it says Indivisible Art Compendium. So it's an art book, very nice. I love when books 
a game's come of uh, art books. I think if you're having a special edition of a game, it has to come with an art book. I'm a, I'm a big collector, so art books are very nice. Uh, crack this open. You guys hear that sound? The sm slight hiss of the binding being cracked for the first time. Over come together. There's a table of contents and some very nice art. I haven't played the game yet, so I'm not gonna go too deep into this, lest there be spoilers. But this is a very nice art book. Look at that. High quality pages. I don't know if you can tell. It's, it's good paper, laminated and everything. Or I don't know if laminated is the right word. Um, some key art. Yeah, very beautiful art book. I'm just gonna just flip through it a little bit just to show you guys. Yeah, a lot of good art in there. So that's the art book. Once again, I look at the back, set it to the side. And next up in here, ooh, is the Nintendo Switch game itself. All right, that's the box. Nintendo Switch, indivisible, ready for team. This is decently rare. The Switch version, I don't think many, like I said before, many of these are made. And it came out later than the PS4 and PC versions, so. There's the front cover. There's the main character in the front there. Giving me kind of like um, Legend of Korra vibes or something. I don't know. I really dig it. The nice, she has a good design. I like it. Um, more characters in the back. It looks like we've got, so starting from the top right, we got like some kind of girl with big fists. We got a uh, pirate or something. Some kind of pirate girl. We got some dude with a scarf. Looks like, looking pretty fancy. Then on her the left side of her head, well, my camera's not really focusing, huh? Can you guys see? I didn't mean to zoom there, I'm trying to focus. Okay, yeah. And then we got some weird dude in armor, right on top of her head. Then to the left of that, we have a girl with earrings, long hair. Uh, and then over here, we have a bright light. This looks like a girl with like a tiger onesie holding up a lamp. Then we've got a guy with a pointy nose, a small girl with a top knot, and then a puppy. All right, and that's the front cover. Rated T for Teen by the ESRB and made by 505 Games, or 505 Games. On the back here, let's take a look. Unite as one, vanquish the darkness. RPG action and platforming collide as you explore a vast, hand-painted world. Yeah, if I must mention, the, the coolest thing about this game, I would say, is the um, art style. It's very pretty. Not often do you see hand-drawn art in games anymore. A lot of it's like computer done or like animated, you know? But this looks, you know, Looks pretty sharp, looking pretty clean. I like it. Um, hand drawn 2D art and animation fused with intense real time battles. Recruit over 20 playable characters in an epic quest to save humanity. All right. In, okay, so look at this music composed by Hiroki Kakuda, Secret of Mana and Kudelka. I'm not going to pretend like I know who that is and what those games are, but pretty hype, right? An incredible amount of creativity and personality, GameSpot. And there you go, some of the nitty gritty de details on the bottom there. And that's looks like a pretty cool game. All right, I have to mention another thing is that this game contains animation or their, their cutscenes are animated by Trigger, Studio Trigger. You might have heard of them from the anime world. They've made shows like Kill a Kill, um, SSS Gridman, Kizniver. Um, what else? There's a ton. Ninja Slayer. Um, dude, I, 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 I'm self-proclaimed Trigger fan, like one of their biggest fans, so I can't believe I'm forgetting some of them. Was that Inferno Cop? Um, what's their most recent one called? I forgot. The one about animals. Whatever. And then there's Promare. I forgot the name of the one of animals, but that's basically it. There's a couple more. But yeah, this game has animation by Trigger, so it's pretty nice. We'll see when they actually play the game. And that's basically all there is to this uh, uh, collector's edition. Um, is there anything hidden underneath this? I can't even remove it fully, so I don't believe so. Alright, that's a very nice tin. You know, I like tins. They're good for holding things. 
Especially this one's well built. I can definitely take out that, try to take out, remove that, uh, that velvet, whatever you call this thing, the, you know, I don't know what you call that. Remove that, and this would be good for holding things like um, playing cards, TCG, dice, whatever, whatever hobbies you might have. This is a good vessel. Even if you're if you're an Asian, you know, or not even all Asians. I don't think this is exclusive for Asians, but you know, you could keep uh, your sewing materials in here. So yeah, that's the Indivisible unboxing. Uh, collector's edition so it's a very nice collector's edition comes of game and art book and again the art book is quite nice well constructed and the photos and the art looks pretty good as you can see the art book for this is even better just because you know it's hand drawn like you can see the sketches there very nice all right so that's it for the indivisible um, unboxing uh, sorry if I was a bit too verbose with this one but um, that's ba that's gonna wrap things up here. We're done here. Alright, like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, leave a comment, especially if you think all this is bullshit. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Eleven Arts. Eleven Arts. Still the beautiful. By the way, we're not in the car. I'm so fucking mad now. Bide your time and hold out hope.